Michael, many congratulations. <laughs> Off and running here, 2019 Players' Championship. Demolition job of Martin Chinder. You must be over the moon with that. Um, first session was half good, but the second one I didn't play, so I might let me off, so it wasn't really a demolition. The scoreline said it was, but performance said otherwise. But I can win 6 0 or 6 5. As long as I win, I'm not bothered, and I'm into the next round now, first Brendan tomorrow afternoon. And I've got hopefully another job to do there and get into the Saturday night then. Break come at the wrong time for you, didn't it? Because you were playing really well until then. Yeah, I was hitting doubles. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true after the break, I think I missed uh, 10, I think, in the, in the next leg. But uh, it's one of the things, you've got to go over the breaks. And I kind of come back into that next, the next bar, and only thinking that I needed two legs instead of killing it. And when he kneel, uh, well, he should have took that leg. Let me go 5-1, I thought you've got to just, just kill it now. Just go back to the way you did and started that way, just didn't finish the way, but uh, I got there in the end. Was there a slight breeze up there as well? We saw you said to go that a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, to, just to Martin, there was a yeah. breeze and then some, some fellow with all trolleys going past, banging away behind <laughs> him. Even George Noble was like, what's that looking around? But <coughs> could have been an excuse if I got beat, might be an excuse for mine, but... There was, there was a nice little breeze up there and a few noises, but it's just one of the things you've got to learn to deal with it. Some of my darts wasn't sticking in the same way, it was just a bit more force behind it and it will go in. But that's when the snatching comes into it and I was dropping way short, but it happened. Having beaten Martin in Wolverhampton, does that plant the seed in players' minds when you play them close together like that, do you think? I kept saying that in Wolverhampton when I did play him, I said I need to beat him because he'll go into this week feeling the confidence, but he should have battered me last week. I got away with it and then luckily enough, he might have been still thinking that as well. And lucky for me, if he did, I got away with it and got the job done. Again, your quarter of the draw, you're firmly the favourite in there, setting the standards in that quarter of the draw. Looking to come out of your quarter and then just take it from there? I've never looked at it. I just know I got Brendan because the guy from Labrook said it then. And that was the first. I'm, I've done it every time I play and I look through and I'm going to play. Good. And this one, I don't even know where the seeds are, what seed I am. And nothing like that. I just wanted to go in this tournament and just... It's a nice, it's like Christmas Day and you wake up, you don't know what, you don't laughing. So I go to sleep now, knowing that I've got Brendan if I win, I ain't got a clue who the next game will be, the winner of who. So just having little nice surprises instead of going to bed thinking, um, play all right, I'll win tomorrow again. But no, it's just keep it focused, this one, and keep everything intense into my game as well. Do you think it's advice for you, all of you guys playing this afternoon, knowing that Saturday and Sunday are a really busy back to back games, so you get an extra long rest and get to recharge your batteries? Is that important? Um, I don't know because I didn't sleep at all last night. I was I was going to this game nervous. I was just tossing and turning all night because it is it's, it's not like a short format. We do it all year, but the the standards, the, the best 64 players in the tournament, so it's the way it happens. So now, like you say, I've got a good 20 hours for the next game, if that's so a nice 10 hours sleep and just 10 hours chilling with my old man. Probably got with some food and. Watch a football match with Fulham playing QPR tonight, so maybe watch that in the room and just chill out. You're a player that believes in momentum as well, because Alexandra Palace is on the horizon. A very good run here could send you there even more confident than you were last year. Yeah, I think I've said it before in interviews, I've just put all my eggs in that one basket this year with the TV, and it, I've been doing half decent on TV, and it's just, I just want it so bad. And I just, I'd, um, I need to say it's because you've been listening. I had a letter yesterday, some fella rang the pub, just my dad thought he was a nutcase and he was saying no 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 I'm a, I'm this I'm a, he was a doctor I think and he rang up and said I'll send you a letter to the pub and I got it today I was reading he was a sports psychologist who loves the game and he was just saying about like Jack Nicholson and stuff uh, Jack Nichols or whatever it is stuff like what he was going through so I want to say thank you for what you did for me as well because that up there he said when I played Glenn last week he was saying you didn't lose her you, uh, you didn't, Glenn didn't win it, you lost it. And he was saying, This is what went wrong, this is what he's doing. He was trying to explain to me, so I, I was grateful for that. And I kind of took it into that, so hopefully, uh, a few more, what he said to me, a few more, taking it in and get ready for the world, it could be a massive fun for me as well. Obviously, just touching on what you said there, everyone knows you've had the ability for all these years, but it's the little mental side of it where you say people like Michael is the best at it. Just, if you can get that right the same as him, do you reckon you can catapult yourself to that level then? Just by little tweaks, little yeah. things like that? My, Michael's Michael's really strong-minded and he's really good at playing mind games as well. Where I'm not as strong as Michael in the mind and I'm definitely not as good as mind games. <laughs> I just want to get on with it. But now if, if, I can, if I can get that first one, well, when I get that first one, 
that's what that's what will catapult me like over like I did with Michael as well. Just go on to them winning streaks and just show what I can do. That's where I just get frustrated because I know what I do on the practice board. I know what I do in certain matches. It's just the consistency as well. As long as the confidence there and the beliefs there about winning tournaments that I can win them and not get to the semis or the final, then just give it away like I've been doing lately. Then that that's the big issue for me at the moment. Michael, pleasure as always. Cheers, All the very best tomorrow. Cheers, Paul.